All right, let's take care of this front piece next. We have to glue it to the bottom, and then we have to glue it to the sides. Now procedurally in CAD, we only have to glue it to one of the sides, either our right side or our left side. And then the last thing that we would have to do is line it up left and right. Now there are a couple ways that we can do this. It doesn't super matter which. I'm going to um, glue it to the bottom first. And from that point, there are two different ways that we can finish it off. So let's glue it to the bottom first. You'll hit the top face of the bottom and the bottom side of the front piece. I'm going to go ahead and click that green check mark because I trust the process. And that is in there. If I hit escape, then I can drag it around and all that fun stuff. Now I am going to go ahead and glue it to the right hand side. I hit the front of the right side and then I'm going to bring it around and hit the back piece. Now you, you've noticed most likely in all these other videos that there are points in which the icon snaps to, this little Pac-Man icon, and I tend to make sure that it's in the center. There's nothing wrong with really hitting it any of these other places as long as we continue to do the three mates. Um, but doing it in the center makes sure that it doesn't curve on us unexpectedly because we can hit the same point but it's facing the other way and we are now hitting another side entirely. So I'm going to make sure to hit the back of the front piece there. After I solve it, then everything responds correctly. I can maneuver it around and I just have one more direction and then it will finish up. That last direction I need to again use a, a planar mate and it will automatically flush these together. Now nothing moves. I want to point out one thing before before moving on and that is the difference in height right at this location. Now if you remember we created our front piece based off of a five and a half by eight inch rectangle and then our side piece was a ten inch tall rectangle by three and a half inches and this 30 degree angle created this left hand um, line to be like 7.97 inches. Um, that's not going to be a huge issue going forward. I did want to point that out though. Now I did say that there was another way to do it so I'm going to delete the last two mates that I did. It is still glued to the bottom but now I can move it around again. Now instead of gluing it to the back sorry, gluing it to the side, um, I can line it up with the front of the bottom piece. Now it's glued to the bottom, oops, now it's glued to the bottom, and I can still move it to side to side, but I can no longer move it front to back. It is still acting like it is glued, it is just a different location of constraining. So now I'm going to line it up, and I'm going to line it up on the other side just to add a little bit of variety in your life. Hit that green check mark. Everything is all good. Let's move on to our roof.